Hi, everybody, and welcome back. Um, this video is about how to use an open-ended question in your Nearpod lesson. So we're going to go to our Add Slide button, and under Add Activity, we're going to choose Open-Ended Question. Now, these have a lot of use. Uh, the kids can actually type quite a bit in their responses. So you could ask for paragraph. You could ask for a short essay. Um, there is a limit, but I don't remember the cap. Um, but you can ask them for quite an extensive um, question. So I'm going to say, how are you feeling if I can type today? And then at, remember this reference tool, it's very handy. So I can search for, oh, there's a nice one with emojis. I like it. So I can add that in and that just gives them a point of reference. That's all. And this is this is going to be a very simple one. So we're just going to say save, and there's your open-ended question. And the kids, when they get this, will um, have that little logo up at the top, and they'll be they'll just type in their answer in a um, answer field. So there's another way you can use this. Add activity. I'm going to add another open-ended question. Um, under reference, you can attach a video. You can attach a PDF. You can attach an audio clip or web content. So you could go to, to YouTube and say, um, Snow Leopard. And you can find a Snow Leopard video to attach. Again, this will have to be cleared with our uh, tech department because it's not our own video. But if you get that video cleared, the kids will be able to watch the Snow Leopard. And then you can ask a question here about, um, Oh, uh, what animals do snow leopards hunt, for example? And then you can turn that question on. There is another setting here, which is brand new. I was really excited to see this. I, I didn't see it until I'm making this demonstration. But you can enable students' audio recording so they can actually speak into their mic and it will attach the clip to their answer. So you'll be able to, in your teacher preview, just push the play button and listen to their answer. There's also the math um, exponents and roots. That's brand new too, so you can ask your math questions. You can do your story problems. You can do um, whatever with, with the math as well. So open-ended questions have a lot of potential. What I like to do is mix in my, my full lesson I'll do activities and then throw in an open-ended question to make them think about what they just learned and reflect and go back or summarize. I like, I like things that summarize. So there you go, open-ended questions. Have fun with that one, and we'll see you next time.